Good morning, my friend. Welcome back to another vlog filmed with the Sony ZV-E10. I kind of have the day off today, so I'm just going to take you guys along with me. But first things first, I need to get an ultrasound done on my neck. I've had some swollen lymph nodes in my neck for quite some time, and the doctor wants to have it looked at. i got about a 30-minute drive, and I have to be there in 40 minutes, so let's get moving. <laughs> Now that we got that all taken care of, we can go get into some fun. But I got this ultrasound uh, gel all in my beard. So there's this uh, bike trail, it's called the G2G Rail Trail. It's right by here. There's 140 kilometers, I believe, of just pure gravel. So we're just gonna go ride that for a bit and see what we could get up to. But, oh, this is gross. <laughs> all right, let's get into some biking. This trail is an absolute blast. Like I said, it's about 140 kilometers of just pure straight gravel. And last year I actually rode 100 kilometers of it and I made a video about it. So I'll link that in the comments if you want to check it out, but watch it after this video to help her attention and all that. Anyways, I thought I'd give you a quick little uh, breakdown on what I've been going through with my neck here. And the issue is I don't really know what's been going on. It takes a long time to get diagnosed. For example, I've had that ultrasound scheduled for about two months and it's just the mystery and the unknown that really kind of takes a toll on you mentally. You hope for the best, but kind of expect the worst and you go down these self diagnosis rabbit holes and I know at the end of the day everything's gonna be fine I just kind of want to know what's going on so I can deal with it from there yeah that's about it for anyone who cares I'll keep you guys updated obviously in this vlog and hopefully I'll know within a few days but I am starving I haven't had breakfast and it's about lunchtime so let's go get some brunch Thanks, have a good day. All right, folks, just finished my final delivery for today, and now I have the rest of the day completely free. I don't know what we'll get up to, but I do want to cut the grass, but unfortunately it's raining, so hopefully it dries up soon, but for now, let's just teleport back home. All right, guys, well, it looks like the rain is holding off just a little bit, but the sky is looking pretty gray, so I'm gonna try and do a quick cut. I'll set you guys on time lapse, and hopefully we don't get soaked. Got the lawn cut just in time. I guess I'll give you guys a quick little garden update since we got everything planted. Planted it about two weeks ago. And right here, these first four rows are all tomatoes. So we got an abundance of tomatoes. Definitely we'll be making a lot of tomato sauce. Here we got some peppers, jalapenos, chocolate habaneros, bunch of different kinds of peppers. And right here is some zucchini. And then these are cucumbers. So that's the haul this year. I'll keep you guys updated, but it should be a good one. Well, 
I gotta say, from a standard Lindy's Life vlog, this has definitely gotta be one of the more boring vlogs I've made. But I think that's one of the problems with YouTube today is a lot of people just show this superficial version of their life and only film the good. When in reality, life isn't really like that. Sometimes you have health issues, sometimes you're broke, sometimes you go through things. And I'm just gonna be honest and keep it real on this vlog because that's what it's all about. I'm just kinda documenting certain days in my life and at the end of the day, I'm my own worst critic, but I'm also my biggest fan. <laughs> I love watching these vlogs months or years down the line and it's cool to look back at where I was in life, what I was doing, how the garden's been growing, all that kind of stuff. I just love documenting this. So I'm gonna continue to do that and I'm still always gonna try and make more adventure and fun vlogs, but sometimes I'm just gonna film how life actually is. Yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that, I don't know what I wanted to let you guys know, but on here, I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys and yeah, I hope you guys can appreciate that. All right, folks, well, it's now about 6 p.m. I've just been editing the day away like usual. I was gonna wrap up the vlog here, but I just bought a t-shirt the other day and it doesn't really fit that well, so I'm gonna go to a mall and exchange it and I just will take you guys with me. I just wanted to swap out about this the other day, I don't like the way it fits. Alright guys, so shirt is exchanged and we are back on the deadly rooftop where the wind actually blew over my camera and I broke my lens here. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. But if you are still watching, that means you're the realest of the reals and I thought I'd fill you in on some upcoming dates and adventures. So in two weeks, we got the annual cottage send. It's Jake's birthday and we've been doing this cottage weekend for the last decade or so. It's one of my favorite weekends of the year, so I'll definitely bring you guys along for that. Then the weekend after that is Canada Day and we're gonna be floating down the Grand River again if all goes well. Last year, I also made a video of it and it didn't get many views so if you haven't definitely watched that one I'll link it in the comments as well. After that I have two car camping trips planned but nothing set in stone yet so I'm not going to say any dates or locations and then in either August or September I'm going to be going to visit my mother in Sweden. That's 100% sure I just don't know an exact date yet. In September I'm filming uh, one of my favorite artists is coming to Toronto and I was speaking with him and I'm going to be filming a show which is super exciting so got a lot of cool adventures and trips coming up also there's a bunch of little camping and random weekends here and there that are going to be super Super fun so if you made it through this boring vlog just know we got a lot of cool stuff coming soon and if you made it this far like always I really do appreciate you like your support truly means the world to me I read the metrics I read all the comments likes engagement I see you guys and yeah thank you so much love and I'll see you in the next one